Hey Internet Harris here, and Notability is for sure one of the best note taking applications for the iPad, right up there with GoodNotes 5. I've done tons of comparisons, but Notability just released a new beta of software version 9, and it fixes a lot of the issues that I had before. So I want to share Notability 9 in this video, which hopefully will be hitting the App Store soon, and maybe even by the time you're watching this. And this video is presented by Paperlike, a screen protector that will remove the fingerprints, the glare, and the oils from your iPad screen while making the Apple Pencil feel like you're writing on paper. I'll leave a link in the description. So previously I could go in and make a shape. If I wanted to make a circle, I can make a circle-esque figure and hold it and it would create that circle. That was about it. Now they've added support for a ton of shapes. I can do a rectangle, I can do a square, I can do a hexagon, try to make a pentagon, and you can see I can do that. So this is really cool. You can make pretty much any shape you want, and you can also adjust the size of them. So for my circle, I can change the radius. For this triangle here, I can make it a right triangle, I can make it an equilateral, I can really manipulate it any way I want. I can turn this rectangle into um, a square, I can make it longer or taller. I can make any of these shapes more abstract. I can make it into a bit of a Pac-Man or do whatever I want. Now I can so easily change the stroke of it. I can make it whatever color I want and I can still adjust the thickness of it. But now there is a fill, so I can make the fill whatever I want. So we'll make it uh, make it yellow, we'll make the stroke black-ish, um, and then we'll just drag over another shape, change that fill, we'll make it, uh, we'll make it white, and now we just have some random logo. And so this is the type of thing that you can do now with Notability, and that's really awesome. Now one of my biggest gripes with Notability was always that the eraser would eliminate your entire stroke. So if you had a more complex stroke or drawing or whatever, this is a bad example of that. But if you just wanted to modify just a tiny bit, uh, you couldn't. But now, you can. There is a partial erase, and so you can just erase just a little bit of whatever you are working on so that you do not have to erase the whole thing. This is great. So if you have that very complex drawing that you made with one stroke, erase a little bit that went extra, you don't have to erase the whole thing. That is very nice, and I'm very happy that that is now here. But then again, if you want to erase the whole thing, you just go into um, whole erase, and you're good to go. Now when you import a picture, you can finally rotate it. This is something that you could not do before, but it is here. It was kind of crazy that you couldn't rotate it before, but now it is as simple as can be. You can resize it, you can rotate it, and you are good to go, and I really like this. Additionally, we have a couple new paper options. So if I go in to paper, you can see these dotted paper looks here. So that is new as well. So this is Notability 9, still missing some features such as the ability to highlight underneath of text, it still goes above it and darkens it. Um, and there's still some other things like there's no redo button um, after you undo something, that'd be nice. If you wanna see a full comparison of this to GoodNotes, let me know in the comments. But for now, Notability 9, which hopefully should be coming out soon. And when it does, it will be awesome. I really appreciate the upgrades and updates that this has done, making Notability 9 much better.